I know you niggas mad. All the sweet gear I got. You niggas hoes is choosing. Why? Let me tell you. <laughs> fresh clothes. And my bitch be fresh too. If you see me in the club, nigga, what you gon' do? We just turning up the bar, ain't gon' drink it all slow. Then hit the parking lot and puff down on the O. Hello, 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 hello. Welcome back. Welcome back. Pokemon Glaze version walkthrough part four. Now last time we left off about 10 minutes ago, I was level 10 Mudkip and a level 11, no level 9 Ninji, aka Riolu, and I had a Crow Gunk. We come back, I have a level 18 Marsh Stomp, a level 11 Ninji, and a level 6 Crow Gunk. Okay, Ninji is Riolu. I'm just gonna refer to Riolu as Ninji from now on, so guys don't get confused. Now, the reason why I train Marsh Stomp and not Ninji is because he is a water and ground type Pokemon, and my amazing best friend slash brother sitting right here told me, yo, if you train that Marsh Stomp, then those Magnemites not gonna be able to kill that Marsh Stomp because he's gonna get a move called Mud Shot at level 16, which he did get a move called Mud Shot at level 15, but yeah, long story short, short, we gonna whoop some ass. Now I'm sorry, I'm gonna let you guys know, I ran through here and I saved it on accident. So yeah, <laughs> I didn't complete this whole area yet, but I just ran through here and saved it on accident. I battled a few people. Uh, um, Wow, a Porygon? I did not know Porygon was here. Well, just for future reference, you guys know there are Porygons inside of the power plants. I'm not gonna capture him. I know I'm supposed to be capturing Pokemon, but I can do that later. This is the walkthrough, not the Pokemon Pokedex walkthrough. So see, I didn't battle this guy, but I battled most of the people in here. There was one guy who was spray painting a wall, and he was like, you, I'm spray painting this wall. I'm a real badass. <laughs> the fuck? Coughing. Coughing was definitely the star, one of the stars of my childhood. Fucking watching Pokemon all the time. Oh, coughing makes ground type moves miss with levitate. I should have known better. But yeah, watching Pokemon growing up, just basically coughing, always getting thrown out by Team Rocket. Coughing. Like all the time. Or Team Rocket getting blasted away by Ash and his friends all the time. I used to watch that shit all the time, man. Shit. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Everybody watched Pokemon. Just about. And if you didn't watch Pokemon, then you just weren't in touch with your imaginative side or your creative side, in my opinion. Or you're just a faggot who's trying to act cool or trying to go with the flow of things instead of going based off of your own interests. I'm sure anybody would like Pokemon, even 40 year olds like Pokemon. You know what I mean? I'm gonna continue liking fucking Pokemon until I'm like dead. <laughs> Real nigga shit on other world terms, Krogunk is about to fight Marsh Tomp. And no, it is not my Krogunk. Okay. So basically, I'm gonna give you a rundown of what's happened in this power plant. We knew that the gym leader had left and went to the power plant because he supposedly heard a noise. So, you get to the power plant, Go through the power. Sorry, somebody's messaging my phone while I'm recording on it. But yeah, we go through the power plant, get to the top, and who do we find? The gym leader, of course. And this guy is pumped up and he's telling me that I have to do something if I want to battle him. I have to do something. No, no homo, nothing like that. But yeah, he's saying I have to basically I have to kill Pikachu or beat Pikachu because Pikachu, the red scarfed one, the evil Pikachu that attacked us in the beginning of the game and tried to kill our parents is at the top of the poke, I mean of the um, power plant draining all of the electricity from the power plant. You have to go hit a switch and shut off the electricity flow. Let's get to the top. I'm tired of this guy. I'm gonna fast forward through these little battles and shit. We're gonna hurry to get to the top tired of talking about this it's gonna keep on making me battle every three steps so yeah 
skip through all this. Now, the fat guys in here, like the, the fat white guys in here, those are the ones that um, will bow to you. Everybody else won't really bow to you. I mean, there's one or two people, but it's just the big white guys that will bow to you with the brown hair. These guys right here. Shit, man. Every three steps is a fucking battle. These guys. But he calls me badass. He said he was badass because he was spray painting a wall. Whatever. Okay, this is where Pikachu is. You see him just waiting to whoop my ass? Yeah, and this is the gym leader. He asked me to um, cut off these things that were shocking Pikachu and giving him power. And he said if I want to battle him, that I have to beat Pikachu in order to battle him because he's been receiving so many weak challengers lately that it's annoying him. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and save it before this battle. See? And I cut off the um the electricity with this thing right here. This shuts the electricity off. And now it's time to battle Pikachu. So I should probably catch him too, huh? I'm gonna try to I'm gonna attempt to catch him. I'm gonna save the state just in case I don't catch him. Pikachu says, oh damn it, I should have known it'd be you to cut off the power. You, who ruined my life and kicked me out of my home. I've been absorbing this electricity to level up and now I'll teach you a lesson you'll never forget. Wow, getting attacked by Pikachu again. It has the unknown battle cry, it always bothers me. With evil eyes. Pikachu, you're an evil thing. I don't even want to kill him. I just want to just weaken. One more of those tackle attacks. And then I'll capture him with the Pokeball. Yes. Perfect. Work for me, Pokeball. Do your magic. Oh, hell no. He broke out. I only have one Pokeball left. If I don't capture Pikachu, I'm afraid I'll have to reset. But for the purpose of this walkthrough, I won't reset. I'll just kill him and I'll reset later and come back and capture him. Damn you, Pikachu. You gotta die. I'm sorry. I don't have Pokeballs. Goodbye. You are now dead. I wonder if he's just gonna disappear or if he's gonna run off. Oh, no, he's gonna run off. I'm so freaking tired of you ruining my dreams. Believe me, I will have my revenge on you. Pikachu is evil. Huh? You actually did. Well, a deal's a deal and you upheld your end. I'll be at the gym now. Can't wait to battle ya. Oh yeah, cause I whooped that Pikachu and you were scared to whoop him? Motherfucker. All right, we're gonna continue. What time is it? We have seven minutes left of recording. I'm gonna end this video by going to the gym and preparing to challenge. I don't know why this thing is staying, my like screen is staying like this. I keep having technical difficulties, but whatever, guys. I hope it doesn't bother you. Ocean View City, we're back. I'm gonna fix this before the next video. Best believe that shit wants to act weird and funky. So. Now, as you can see, that guy that was blocking the door here, that motherfucker. Oh, what? Hey, who are you? Who are you, bitch? Kai Ninja, that's a cute name. My name is Chell. Shell. And I just got my very first badge. Jealous? This gym was easy because I have Pokemon that resist electric types. Wanna see? 
Oh ho ho, now I get to randomly battle a random person which I wasn't expecting to battle for no reason. Cool, Shell, let's get it. You and your chikorita, get that ass whooped. Motherfucker. I'm still gonna try mud shot on this chikorita. I forgot if it would be effective. Nope, not very effective. Guess I'm gonna tackle his ass. Chikorita and Marsh Tom. Two different generations. Sorry, Chikorita. But I am the newer generation. You're only a generation two Pokemon. I am a generation three. Marsh Tom. Oh shit. I was hoping he didn't have that move. He just used it though. Razor Leaf. Quite powerful. All right, who else you got, Shell? Pikachu? I hope that Pikachu is not yours. The red scarf? Oh, I'm about to say, yo, if that was, if that Pikachu was hers, it would have been some issues. All right. Foresight. I do not want to learn that move. Yes. That's how you whoop Shell's ass. You're just a rookie, so I went easy on you. Don't expect to win again. We'll battle again soon. Don't worry. Bitch, you just got your first badge. Lucky I don't whoop your... What? See how she just disappeared like that? I would whoop her ass. The hell? Back to the Pokemon Center we go. All right, let me see, let me see, let me see how much money I got. $846, okay, not bad. It's enough to buy some Pokeballs. The next time I see that Pikachu, he's mine. Now, to the gym. Here's a faggot that stopped me from going. Punk. All right, so yeah, this gym looks pretty awesome. The next part is gonna be this gym. That's, that's, that's gonna be part five. Part five, yes, yes, part five. So this is going to conclude the end of part four, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed making it. And um, do me a favor. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. Go over ahead and like this video. Leave me some comments below. Let me know what you think about how bad I suck as a Pokemon player or how good I am. You know what I mean? Thank you for watching. As always, Cod Ninja out. Peace, motherfucker. And my Asian fresh too. Get into the money, true. Ninja like money, glue. Shorty give two brains from the top that she throw. She grabbed my arm and said, Ninja hot. But I already know whether or not she would go. Depends on how much dough I throw. I think that she the devil, cause she bad from her head to toes. NFG, that's my bros. Ninja star, rock these shows. Hang it up like some clothes. In my car, she didn't chose. Source lights, backs in the blow away time. Step on cracks and I blow away your mind. She throw the top while I recline. My nigga hit it from behind. Don't say that she ain't did it Daughter watched and said mama with it She wants that then she get it So we know your mama with it